Hi everybody, Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're gonna be doing, we are gonna be focusing on arrays today and how exactly what we need to do to solve them. So when we look at an array here, and I have an arrangement, it's a group of objects that is arranged in an order where you have the same amount in its row, which as you can see, my rows go across or horizontally, as they have the same amount in their columns, which the columns go up and down or vertically. Now, instead of me counting each individual item one by one, I want to use a specific strategy called repeated addition. When you hear the words repeated addition, I hear the word repeat. And repeat means I'm gonna be doing something over and over again. So when I'm thinking about repeated addition, I'm going to be using the same number. I'm gonna be adding the same number over and over again in order to find a specific sum, a total. So we're gonna do two kinds of repeated addition here. The first one, we are gonna be focusing on adding by the rows. So as you can see, my rows again go across. How many rows do I have? I have one, two rows. Then we're going to be doing repeated addition in another way. We're gonna be focusing on the columns. So let's see, how many columns do I have? Remember they go up and down. One, two, three, four, five. So it's very dependent on how many rows you have versus how many columns you have that's going to determine the number that you are adding repeatedly. So let's go ahead and get started. So with my rows, remember, I have two. So that means I'm going to be adding the same number two times or twice. So here we go. Let's figure out how many are going to be in each row. One, two, three four, five. So that means I'm going to be adding five and another five. So five plus five equals, well, that's an easy peasy because that's a simple doubles fact. Five plus five, you probably already answered it. You probably already know the sum. It's going to be 10. And that was for my row. Okay. So that's why I'm putting that letter R there. So now, let's go ahead and let's figure out for the columns. Now remember, we are not going to be adding 5 plus 5, because notice when you have your columns, there's only 1, 2 in each column. We're not going to be adding the number 2 twice because we have more than two columns. Let's count our columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that means I'm going to be adding the number two five times. So here we go. Two plus two plus two plus two plus two equals. So here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five twos because that matches my one, two, three, four, five columns. So. What do I want to do here? Maybe, I mean, I can count each individual by counting on. I could do those simple strategies. I could even skip count by twos because we should already know how to skip count by twos at this point if we're working with arrays. So I would, I would skip count like this. Two, four, six, eight, ten. How about that? So notice... Even this is for my column, 10 as a sum, 10 as a sum. Why am I still getting 10 as a sum for both? Because technically, I have 10 in that arrangement. Finding it two different ways by the row and the column. Maybe for some of my non-believers, Let's count each one by one. We'll double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go, folks. So we use that repeated addition to find out how many total were in that specific array using that repeated addition strategy. Following a row repeated addition and a column form of repeated addition. So hold tight. We are going to try another one. Okay, boys and girls, and now we're back. So notice how I have a different arrangement here. I have a different array. So let's take a look. Let's see how many rows we have first. I have one, two, three, four, all right? Versus, let's see how many columns I have. One, two, three. So now that's gonna change how many times, remember, I'm gonna repeatedly add that same number. So let's go ahead, let's start with our rows. What am I gonna be adding over and over? Well, let's count one row, one, two, three. So I'm gonna be adding three over and over. Let's see how many times again, one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna be adding the number three four times. So here we go. One, two, three, four, okay? So I'm adding that number three four times. That's matching my number of rows. All right, so now let's think about how we wanna go about and do this. Well, I could count each one by counting on. I could do that strategy. I could also do maybe some combinations here to make my life a little bit easier. I could skip count by threes maybe if that's a little bit easier for you. Maybe if that's a strategy you're comfortable with. But you know what? Let's change things up a little bit. I might want to do some combinations here because I do see... Obviously, with that repeat addition, you do see some double stacks here. So I might want to combine these and these. So three plus three, what's that double? I'm sure you said it already. That was six. And then obviously, this is going to be the same because it's the same double. But I'm not done because remember, I just made those quick combinations. Now I got to add six plus six. So... Let's see, six plus six, that turns into another double, which will give us 12, okay? So that's what we did for the row. Now let's go ahead and let's solve for our columns now. So remember, the columns are gonna go up and down, but now I'm not gonna be adding three, remember, because there's gonna be a little bit more in our columns. So let's see, how many do we have? One, two, three, four. All right. So I'm going to be adding four. How many times? One, two, three, because I only have those three columns. So let's do it. I have four plus four plus four equals. All right. So let's see. What do we want to do? What kind of strategy do I want to see? Hmm. Maybe let's just do Let's do a combination and then we could do some counting on because we know our doubles. So here we have, I have four plus four. What's that gonna give me? That's gonna give me an eight. And let's count on four more. So I'm gonna put eight in my brain and count on four more. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So there we have 12. So that was for my column. Notice again, my sums are going to remain the same. Why? Because I'm not adding any more to this array. I'm not taking any away. I'm just adding it in a different way depending on the direction, whether it be a row or a column. So remember for all my non-believers, let's count each one by one to double check and make sure we have 12 in our array. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So there we go. Now we have 12 in this array. All right, hold tight. I have one more thing we're gonna do. Okay, boys and girls, and we're back. So now what we're gonna be doing, we are going to be solving using an array to solve a word problem. So here's our word problem. 
It says, Stacy is putting away dishes. She puts them in three rows with five dishes in each row. How many dishes is Stacy putting away? So basically, what I want to do is use an array to help me solve for this particular story problem. I'm making the visual with the array, and then I want to use that repeated addition strategy in order to solve for the particular array and see how many dishes she's actually putting away. So notice what I did. I underlined three rows with five dishes in each row. So that's giving me the idea of how I need to build this particular array. I need to build it with three rows and then put five dishes in each one of those three rows, okay? So what I wanna do here, I'm gonna build my rows. So watch what I like to do. This is gonna be the start of row one. Here's the start of row two. And here's the start of row three. Now remember what I need to do. I need to make sure that I have five in each row. So this starts my one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna continue with my row two. One, two, three, four, five. And my row three. One, two, three, four, five, okay? So now, this is how she arranged those dishes. Three rows, one, two, three, and then five dishes in each row. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have it. So now here comes that repeated addition part. Sometimes, remember, when you are working with arrays, I personally like to think about how do I want to solve it? How, which way is it going to be easier for me to add? Or possibly even skip count too, because that can help me get to my sum or my total faster. So here I know we're focusing on rows. So when I'm looking here at the rows, there's five in each row. Sometimes I really love that option that I can either solve with a row or a column. I love the row idea here. I'm going to stick with the rows because you are counting by fives because remember, in each row, there are five. So let's go ahead and do that. So remember, how many rows do we have? One, two, three. Remember, it has to match. And then with the five in each row, I'm adding that number five three times. So here I go, five plus five plus five equals, so you know, that's a great easy skip count. Five, 10, 15. If you already haven't figured that out at this point, it's definitely gonna be 15. 15 is gonna be my sum, 15 is going to be my total. Now, could I also do it by columns? Yes, but look at our columns. One, two, three, four, five. I have to do it by five times, and then I have to count each one by three. So I really like our rows option here because it's a quick and easy skip count by fives. And what happens if maybe you're that person, you want to show that combination. Here, look, there's that double. Five plus five is 10, 10, and I'm gonna add on five more, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You can still use that counting on strategy and you're still gonna get 15. All right, for those non-believers, here we go. Let's count up each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and there's our 15. Boys and girls, I really hoped you liked our little lesson on arrays today, building that repeated addition strategy. And as I tell you, I always recommend that you practice at home. And until I see you again, have a great day. Bye, everybody.